Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Watty here with 4000 and Counting, sponsored by Hurricane E-Bikes. It is the very first of the road trip edition and I'm here in the wonderful Oxford. I have a little bit of time to kill before face-off. So, as promised with these videos, we're going to be taking you out and about and the first port of call for us today, we are going to check out Oxford University Natural History Museum. Come and check it out with me. City Stars GM Shane Moore. Morsey, busy off season. Very busy, man. Um, arguably the biggest sign if you bring in Petter Check. Don't think anyone really saw that coming. What's it been like having Petter in the organisation? I've seen lots of people doing lots of like pieces on him. Is that cool for the city or what? Yeah, absolutely. Like, what an opportunity for us like to build. The reason I came here was to build the sport here in the city, to have an absolute elite sportsman of, of his calibre, no matter what sport they're in, to come here sets the tempo and it sets the dressing room he sets the expectations for the boys he's coming here to win stuff he's not coming here to mess around you know so yeah exciting well, speaking of messing around i want to throw back to when we were 16 17 18 and having fun there was a very good goalie in the name of joe Dolan. he was my basingstoke teammate you've brought him back and victor dynamos have brought ollie bronowin back <laughs> I, I don't know if it's we'll go throw it back to the uh, to the to the early 2000s 
What's it like having Joey back in the net? Yeah, what a guy. Um, and you know what? He's still got it. Um, I love that. I, I, I spoke to him like last year. He was studying here at uni. Um, right. So I spoke to him a few times. That's how it came about. He was playing university hockey, got MVP of the league in his first season back. You know, like, he's, he's that good. Um, he's, his natural ability, everyone said, I've brought it out of left field, getting him involved, you know. And yeah. he's, he's fantastic in the dressing room and everything and on the ice. So really pleased to have him here. Two, two new imports. What's it like having these boys in the mix? Obviously, it's a three import league now. Gone up from last year. You brought in a couple of guys, I believe, that are working in the city and doing things like that. So, what's it like having those boys on board? Yeah, again, it's just, it's just about raising the professionalism in the dressing room as well. Um, you know, like we, we look at the guys we brought in. Darcy, he's played pro now for quite a few years over in Australia and Sweden. Um, you know, he, he comes in here ready to work and ready to play and wants to win. Um, you know, same with Dylan. Dylan's come from uh, NCAA three. Um, yeah. You know, good good program out there, and he, he's not here to mess around. You know, we got guys in the dressing room this year that want to win stuff, and that's what we're going after. So last year, didn't finish the way you wanted it. Obviously, you boys want to be finishing higher up the table with the squad that you have this year. I mean, Basingstoke's demise has been your benefit. You've picked up a couple of national defensemen in uh, Mitchell and Banner. Mm -hmm. That makes you guys a lot stronger. Where's the ambition for the club this season? Yeah, I, th I think we have to still be realistic. Like we're not, we've not increased our budget massively this year. No. Um, you know, we've we've brought a few extra guys in. We've got the guys here who want to be here and yeah. want to be a part of something, which is the main thing for me. Um, ambitions is top five. Um, okay. You know, realistic. The, the good thing is, if you look back at last season, we were only five points off from third place. Okay, so um, you're in the mix. It, we were in the mix. It was a really tight league up until the last couple of games to, to decide it. So, you know, I think that's the great thing about this league, you know, and there's lots of people that can challenge Streatham this year as well, yeah. um, you know, which is, again, even better for the league. You know, Streatham were a strong side, but then you've got um, Invicta and Chelmsford will both definitely challenge those boys. Mm -hmm. Slough, you know, they're going to be in the mix. For the young bucks, aren't they? Yeah, and they're just energised bunnies. They'll keep going and going. And then, you know, we'll, I think we'll be a dark horse. We'll surprise some teams. You've got um, you've got a busy night on the cards here by, by the looks of things. It looks like potentially 500 plus in the building. Yeah. You talk about building the club as a whole, how important is it to, to get these fans in the door and then to keep them here? Yeah, absolutely massive. I mean, last year, um, you know, we our average crowd was probably about 300 people. Yeah. Um, for tonight's game, we've pre-sold 500 already. Amazing. Uh, so we'll, you know, we'll probably get another 100, 150 more through the door after that as well. Um, it's our responsibility to obviously convert them into long-term fans. Yeah. Um, you know, the, we haven't given away a load of tickets tonight, but we've equally we've got a few sponsors coming in and potential sponsors. Just building the club, building the foundations there for, for years to come. Speaking of sponsors, we, we do share a sponsor, Hurricane yeah. E-Bikes. Yeah. How cool is it? Oh, they're, they're, they're brilliant. And you know what? It, it absolutely fits perfectly with our kind of ethos and what we're trying to do as well. You know, we're, we're in a city that is full of bikes and it works yeah. perfectly for Hurricane, um, you know, getting them some brand exposure here. They, they've done us an absolute solid by actually painting up the frames and making them custom with the logos on there and stuff. Yeah, very cool. They are absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, they, those things fly as well. So, yeah, they zip around, don't they? Yeah, and we've already got a couple of people saying that they're going to, you know, try and pick some up as well. So, uh, yes, you know, pick some up. Absolutely. Yeah, Hurricane e bikes right, right there. Right on the jersey. You've seen it. It's yeah. probably right below this as we're talking <laughs> right now, to be fair. But obviously, the national has got stronger. You guys in this league, potentially from the way it looks, have got stronger. <laughs> Where do you see this league going after another, say, season, maybe two seasons? Uh, you know what? I, I kind of I've just spoke about this to quite a few people. I think ice hockey over the last kind of four or five years has kind of gone a bit stale, and I, I feel like there needs to be a new injection of stuff. And I feel like everything's starting to come together now. I think the national league is starting to grow. I think our league is starting to grow yeah. um, and I'd love to see it keep growing and growing and we need to work on those development pathways and get them all through. Um, but there's massive opportunity for ice hockey as a whole to grow in this country right now. You talk about the development pathway at Oxford, obviously, they've got Darren Elliott involved with the juniors. They then have the, the second team at the ENL2 level. Mm -hmm. How important is it to, to get that kid there to see that you go from here? to here to the, to the first team and then maybe yeah. on to Swindon or Bristol Absolutely. or a National League team, maybe even Cardiff Devils, there could be a pathway all the way through. Yeah, and, and we have that pathway here right now, right? So we, we've got the, the junior programs growing and growing and growing. Darren, Darren Elliott is doing amazing things with that, getting the numbers up and, and getting them to a place where those players can then come through to the Rising Stars, which is our NHL2 team. Um, those boys can then obviously come through to us as the City Stars. We've got development pathways moving through to um, uh, to Bristol Pitfalls officially, um, 
And you know, obviously, I've been around the block a few times. I know, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> I, I, I know guys like Dougie Shepherd over in Bracknell and stuff. You know, we've got a few guys that we can start pushing through yeah. out those ways as well. And that, that's the win for us. Like the ultimate goal for me working here in Oxford is not to go and win a league. That would be fantastic. But I want to see players come through and come here because they want to develop and move through. through. You know, and then if we can push them through to Bristol, and then Bristol can push them through to Cardiff, then. Do you know what? We've done our job. Yeah, absolutely. That is a pathway. And in this country, we're not blessed with hours and hours of ice time. So we have to have these relationships between the National League and the NIHL 1, the NIHL 1 and the NIHL 2. Right the way through to the June development at 16s, 18s, making sure that the trajectory is always going up. Like Morsey said, it has been stale in the past. Hopefully some, some new ideas, new, new members of the IHA board. They might have some new ideas which are going to help and ultimately all we're looking for is UK hockey to keep growing. One last one for you, Morsey. Ever tempted to put the wheels back on when you're, when you're, <laughs> when you're up, and, up and about it? Well, no, I, I've been asked a few times already this year, um, but no, like, I don't think my needs would take it anymore. Yeah, the charity game fucking showed. showed us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to charity games yeah, and charity testimonials. Games, charity games and testimonials yeah. are the way forward. One shift. <laughs> They're bl blowing and just uh, yeah. yeah, grab a beer. Right, Morsey, best of luck for the season. Thank you very much. That's been Shane Moff. Second period done. Jets are currently 3 0 up. Great goal from Sebastian Moore there to make it three in the last minute. I think Oxford are going to be disappointed. They let a goal in with 0.9 seconds left of the first. They've let a goal in with 50 odd seconds left of the second. Frustrating period for them. They did have some better opportunities. It's getting a little chippy out there as well, which we'd love to see. Boys are finishing their hits. There's lots of lots of chirping going on after the play, and you know, the, you know the way I like to watch the game. And these guys are getting after it. Very, very good turnout for Oxford uh, City Stars today. Absolutely packed barn. Potentially the busiest it's been in around about eight years. So shout out to the team at Oxford for that. And let's go see what this third period has in store. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I am back from Oxford. What an awesome day out. Natural History Museum is a must for anybody that's in Oxford on a game day. Want to go check it out. Great free as well. Free parking on the street on a Sunday, just opposite university. You can't go wrong. Great for kids. Loads of dinosaurs, loads of cool masks, all sorts of all sorts of fun to, to keep the kids busy all afternoon before a game. Oxman Road was packed. It was busy and it's great to see it like that had a really good day down there i'm really impressed with that young slough team they work their asses off they're quick never give up on any pucks oxford they got a little bit of work to do but they will they will uh progress as the season goes on i think once their imports find their feet they're going to be very good at that level really impressed with um young seb moore hat trick on the evening his brother christian moore obviously a very good player as well plenty of other names there that worked their asses off and was quite clear to see that they could be playing at a higher level so that is good it's good for the nihl one south the busier crowds that's good for the nihl one south as well love to see it this weekend, road trip number two, we are going to be checking out the Sheffield Steel Dogs at home, taking on the Solway Sharks. And the following night, up in Dumfries, the return leg, the Sharks will be looking to get their first home victory of the season. And, well, the Dogs are going to make them work for it, that's for sure. Looking forward to spending the time with uh, both teams over the weekend and getting some great content for you guys. So next week's episode of The Road Trip will be coming to you from Solway and Sheffield. Make sure you tune in.